Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use caution when reinitializing variables inside a loop. Uh, sometimes it's necessar necessary to save information, increment counters, or reset variables within a loop. A potential issue is when variables either should be reinitialized or aren't, or vice versa. This is particularly dangerous if you are accidentally if you accidentally reset the variable being used for the ter for the terminal condition using an infinite loop. Printing variables, printing variable values with each cycle of your loop by using console.log can uncover buggy behavior related to resetting or uh, failing to reset a variable. <clears throat> the following function is supposed to create a two-dimensional array with m for rows and n for columns of zeros. Of zeros. Unfortunately, it's not producing the expected output because the row variable isn't being reinitialized or set back to an empty array in our outer loop. Fix the code so it returns a correct 3x2 array of zeros, which looks like this. So 3x2, that means it's got 1, 2, 3 elements, and each of those elements is 2 rows deep. <clears throat> uh, it's not producing the expected value. Okay, so let's just uh, read through this code to start with. I'm going to extend this out so that the... Uh, so that the comments are on a little bit better on, on the rows. Uh. Okay, so first off, we're going to create a new array with m rows and n columns. So our new array is equal to a array, and then we're going to create a row, which is an empty array. And for, we're going to let i is equal, so the index of 0, and then i is, while i is less than m, and then we're going to add to i. Here, we're doing the same thing. Um, so we're doing, this is called a nested array, and we're creating a new variable where j, um, and then while j is less than n, so the number of um, columns being passed in, and then j++. So this pushes, and here we're adding zeros to each of those. So, yeah, 3 and 2. But right, for some reason, we're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're getting 3 and 6 and we should be getting 3 and 2. So what's happening here? Uh, our code should set the matrix variable to an array holding three rows and two columns of zeros each. OK, this is a big jump. Um, <clears throat> so here, what we're doing is we're going through with the m. What is m supposed to be? That's the, why would they do m and n? m is like the width, and n is the length of the array. So we want three um, wide and two high. Uh, we want to fix the code so it returns two. So what's happening here? The new array and then the row. So here we're adding, to the row we're adding zeros on. So the row is an empty array and for three times we're pushing zero onto this and then we're um, adding that row, so the first row to the new array and then we're coming back down here and because the um, width of the array is still greater, we're going to do it again. And we want to do that three times. Uh, so we've got the proper uh, conditional in here. And then we build the row depending on how much n that we want, j and n. And then row, we're pushing on at zero. And then we're adding the row at the end again. So that gives us our second um, row. And uh, yeah. And for some reason, it's making a mistake. So here we're adding the nth row into the new array. Here we're pushing the n into the current row to create columns. So that means we're adding each of the at zero to each element based on how lo how um, large or how tall the uh, array was. And then we push the row, uh, which now has uh, two zeros in it to the array. And we do that a few times. I and J. Okay, so cool. What's happening here is as we move through, the row is getting added uh, added to. So let's say we were to console.log the row at this point. You see we're going, um, let's go row and then we'll go um, the new array. Now let's, let's console.log the new array. 
So the array initially is an empty one, and then it adds. Then we 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 add this um, this row, this uh, the row, and so this is actually done right first, right? But what we want to do is do this three times. But the next time we do it, we're doing it. Um, we're adding two to this one and this one. So now we now the row becomes four, and then it becomes a set of three. And so what's happening here? Uh, maybe if I were to do row. Yeah. So. Here we're adding adding to the row. The row is getting exponentially bigger. Why is that? Because a row needs to be set back to an empty array within with each iteration of this for loop. So the way that we do this is we set the row back to an uh, empty array, and then our results become r the proper here. So instead of the row, let's look at it like this. When it's like this, when we're not adding this row in here, and we're not setting the row back to zero. The row starts off, and we push on two zeros, and then we add the row to the array, and then we come back, and then the row already has two zeros in it. The row is already zero zero. So instead of running this, the row is already zero zero. And then what do we do? We add two more to it. That gives us this one. And because we do it three times, we get three rows of six. And so that's the key. We just need to set the row to be equal to an empty array. And I'm pretty sure that'll pass. If we run the tests, looks like that was it. Um, so yeah, this is just the idea of reinitializing variables inside loops. So you want to make sure that you know what you're working with when you're working inside of your loop. I think it looks cleaner to have the uh, the code below the comments because that's where it is. That's how it, how it is here and here. And uh, yeah, they don't add the spacing in there, so I'll keep the spacing. Anyways, we run the test and that passes. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next lesson.